Hello, and what is going on today, guys? Tomcat here, and welcome back to another episode of Spin Tires. Now, in this video, we have two city buses, and we have a kind of polar spec Kamaz. The only reason why that's there is to rescue the other, <laughs> rescue the buses when they inevitably get beached. Now, the upgrades we can do to these, I haven't even looked. I mean, we can put a short logs trailer on them, which is a little strange. Um, we can also put, like, those longer trailers, which doesn't really make any sense at all. Um, we can swap the wheels and tires. We have the default ones right now. We've got those, and we've got these MP4 wheels, which all pretty much look the same. So I don't really get what the point is of swapping them. But, um, and they... What? Do they not make any noise at all? They make, like, a tiny little bit, but, like, there's, there's, literally, there's, like, no noise at all, which is weird. Like, I'll, I'll show you guys. I'll get in the, I'll get in the other truck. So you can hear it running. The, it's just the, the fact that the, um, that the buses don't really make any noise, which, I mean, you could go one way or the other on. I'm not a huge fan of vehicles that don't make any noise at all. I mean, you kind of want to know that it's on, but at the same time, it is a city bus, so... It's sort of already stuck. <laughs> not even, not even stuck. It's just like we're gonna have to, uh, we're gonna have to get it through its, put it through its paces real quick before we actually, you know, understand what it can do. Now, when it comes to, when it comes to buses and things like that, spin tires is definitely not the place for them. But, but that doesn't mean you can't take them, you know, trail riding and see what'll happen. So this is. I would say probably like a mid to mid size to large city bus. Um, it got lost on its bus route and it ended up somewhere in rural Russia. I'm guessing somewhere in rural Russia. And God, the inside of that bus looks really weird. It's like it's got two sets of seats, but they're all very much folded down. So I don't know who designed this bus. It's a little bit weird, but um. Oh, crap. We shouldn't have done that. It's got a reverse beep. That's hilarious. Yeah, we're beached already. There's going to be a lot of winching involved here. I already know. It's going to be one of those vehicles where it's like, wait, we're winching? No, wait. No, no. We're winching again. <laughs> All right. Need to throw it in gear and just continue to go. If we can make it, nope. It's just like it gets stuck so easy that I feel like it's going to be a frustrating thing to drive. But at the same time, I mean, it doesn't have to be frustrating to drive, if that makes any sense. We're just going to have to be really careful about what, you know, what way we go. You know, what lines we pick and what direction we go. If we can get... Eh, maybe. There's a paved road here, so that's really good. That's good for this. I mean, it's... Not really that good for anything else that we normally use in spin tires, but for this, it's a good thing. Yes, it's- Oh my god! Look at this! That is- Oh wow. <laughs> That's brilliant. No, this is the craziest interior I've ever seen in spin tires. This is like the best interior I've ever seen anybody make. That's insane. I really like that though. That's really cool. If we can maybe get it around the corner without- Oh, it's a little- <laughs> It's a little bit long for that. Cue all the jokes. Cue the comment section because it's about to go crazy. No, the the weird thing is that you can get you can you can pretty much like let this thing let this thing just go until you get to a hairpin corner. And the, the thing is, most vehicles and spin tires that are this length have multiple like basically multiple axle steering so if they have two axles in the front and two axles in the rear the two front axles will have steering or you'll have front and rear wheel steer so it oh we might beat you here i don't want to but don't flip either it's getting a little bit of flex going <laughs> mm. you know i'm honestly extremely surprised we didn't we didn't beach the thing because normally buses, dude, normally, normally buses like this, I mean, you saw how easy it was to beach it earlier. It just kind of like, just stopped in the middle of the vehicle itself. So it was just like, eh, whatever. I'm just going to stop right here. My question is, 
if we, you know, if we make it a decent, you know, a decent ways, which we already have, really, with this particular bus, I'm curious as to what will happen if, like, because this bus we've been taking on, like, the, you know, the, the, the easy trails tour, um, if we take the other bus on the harder trails, we may need that 8x8 for backup, because, I, let's see how fast this thing is in high. It's like not that fast. Way faster in automatic. Way faster. And it's so quiet, too. Jeez. It's insanely quiet. I barely hear anything. That makes me want to drive the 8x8, literally just because it, it makes some noise, makes some sound. Well, let's not get stuck here. Let's just get, like... See if we can get right across without getting stuck, without scraping. That's the thing, is like we're also Stance Nation right about now. We don't- we're- we're- we may as well be Stance Nation low. So, we're- Oh, dirt nasty low, yo. But like, no, it literally, because we're scraping on everything. Not gonna lie though, we've come a decent ways. I'm- I'm impressed. We've come a decently long ways in this thing so far. Especially considering how far out of its element it actually is. Now, like I said, we took the easy way to this garage with this particular bus. There's a secondary way to get to this garage, which you guys probably know about, and that's the way we're going to take the yellow bus. And the yellow bus is probably going to get stuck. I'm going to tell you right now, the yellow bus is probably not going to make it on its own. So, let's switch to the yellow bus and set off. Now, I feel like... I feel like this particular, like, going this way in this bus is kind of a suicide mission. It's just not quite, um, it's not quite built for this, like, at all. It's not quite built for this any, like, little bit whatsoever. So, I think the biggest, the biggest deal is when we get to any kind of hills or any kind of, like, immediate, like, sudden crests of a hill where it can beach itself immediately, or that's muddy. Mud will probably be the death and doom of this bus. Not doing too badly, actually, though. Doing decently well through the mud. I'm, dude, I'm impressed with that. Just gotta kind of keep momentum up, which is hard when the front of your bus is a bulldozer. <laughs> Oh, that river is going to be really tough. I doubt it's going to make it through there. I genuinely doubt it's going to make it through there, and I'll tell you why. Because it's extremely deep, and it's... Yeah, okay, yeah, it's so steep on both sides that it's already beached itself. There's only one way to get it across that river. And that's this guy. Let's see. That looks awesome. I'm just trying to figure out what would be, like, the Oh my god, that's awesome. I'm trying to figure out what would be the best thing to bring. Uh... I mean, we don't really need to bring anything. But, at the same time, I kind of want to, just because it looks like... Just because it looks cool, you know what I mean? Let's see, big fuel tank. Oh yeah, that looks awesome. That is, like, that's complete, that's set up, that's ready to go. It's got steering on both front axles. It's got... I don't even know how tall the tires are. They're just so massive, it doesn't even matter. I wonder how fast is if we... Nope. High is slower than auto. It seems like that's been a trend lately with a lot of the vehicles that, been, that have been coming out where high is slower than automatic mode. And on one hand, I get that. And on the other hand, it's annoying because you feel like, you know, Oh, I'm going to put it in high and it's going to be fast. And then it's not. And then you're like, uh... Yeah, that's no good. <laughs> You're like, no, that's no good. First off, let's see if we can push it. Oh, well, we can push it, all right. <laughs> oh, yeah, not a problem. <laughs> okay, now second part, we need to winch it out. Stick this thing in low three so it doesn't get stuck. And drive it right through the river. See, the thing is, the bus needs the tires we have on this thing. Then the bus would be perfect. The bus would be fine. 
but it didn't really take long for the bus to uh, to meet its match, I guess you could say. It didn't really, like, I mean, what was it, a creek? Alright. This should be, like, it should make short work of this rescue, though. You know what? I'm just gonna keep towing the bus. <laughs> I don't even care. I'm gonna keep towing the bus. I mean, if that's the way, we, I tell you what, if we can tow the bus up this hill, I'm going to consider that a massive, like, massive win, massive victory for this 8x8 if it can tow the bus. Well, we know it can tow the bus, but, like, tow it all the way up the hill. Because that's, like, that's difficult. It's really difficult. It's getting it, though. It's just kind of, like, chugging away at it. Little bit of steering input, not too much. I'm trying to make sure the bus doesn't get hung up on the inside of the corner. Because if the bus gets hung up on the inside of the corner, then we're kind of screwed. <laughs> it is just pulling that bus. That is ridiculous. And honestly, too, if you think about it, the, pr the bus probably wouldn't have made it up this, this hill. I mean, I think that there's so many, like, little, um, little, like, miniature bumps on this particular hill that the bus would have high-centered. I, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like there's no way it would have made it itself. It just doesn't feel that way uh, to me, especially from what we just, like, drove through. It just seems like it's not, it, like, it wouldn't have been a pretty sight, let's say that. Would not have been a pretty sight whatsoever. Are we almost there? Like, how close are we... To the okay, so the other bus is over there. We have to go down there, make a left, and come back. Okay, so it shouldn't be too far to get there. But you know what? At this point, since we've got both, I'm just gonna tow it the whole way. I, <laughs> I mean, I'm really like I'm just gonna tow it the whole way. So I do want to say real quick because wait a minute, you know what? There might be a slightly quicker way to do this. It's a little risky, but you know what? It's a little risky, but who cares? We're doing it. <laughs> the reward is there, so we will go for it. Now, this is going to crawl right over the stumps. I'm not sure about the bus. Genuinely not sure. It's probably just going to bounce right... Oh, no, it's just going to pull it right over. Okay, well, that works. <laughs> I was like, well, it's either going to get completely stuck... Or we'll make it. And it's actually kind of nice because we did make it. Question, though. If the garage... Oh, it's right there. Okay, I was like, if the garage is over there and there's a massive hill in between us and it, then we may have a slight issue. God, all the passengers on that bus would be so done at this point. They'd be just like, um, hey, like, where we, where's the next bus stop? You've been towing us for, like, the past three weeks. And we've missed all of our appointments. Where is, okay. I need to figure out, ah, I should have gone left. I definitely should have gone, not left, right. What the hell, Right. Check that again and make sure. Oh, no! No! Okay, I, I really should have stayed the direction I was going because that direction made much more sense. Why didn't I go that way? Literally makes no sense. Okay, I don't know. We'll work that out later. We'll work out my <laughs> sense of direction skills later. Oh, I see. Okay, so we... I thought that was the garage and... The garage is over there. I don't know why I mistaked a apartment building for the garage. The garage is like, the garage is like, they always look a specific way. They always have a specific texture on them. And they're like, y you should, you should be able to, you should be able to spot one of those. If you've, if you, if you've been playing spin tires for as long as I have, you should be able to spot one. But either way, we have made it. Both of the buses made it to the garage. Um, one made it under its own power. One didn't. But that's okay, because one of them took a much more difficult path than the other one, so I'll, I'll, I'll completely and totally 
allow that. So, if you guys did enjoy this quick little challenge, don't forget to click that like button. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later and hope you guys enjoyed.